All right, coming at you with another example to brush up on your stress calculations. This time we're looking at the normal stress and then the shearing stress in this granite block or this granite column. So first up, the normal stress. We're given that we got a 1060 kilonewton load applied to the top of the block and we're asked to determine the, the resulting normal stress. So this is pretty simple. We're just going to take the load P and divide it by the area of the block, which is 140 millimeters squared. And so we got the 1,000, or in this case, 1 million newtons divided by the 140 millimeters squared gives you 54 MPA. Always good to use newtons in millimeters, then you get MPA. But the second part is tricky, okay? The second part is tricky. Unless you know the formula, we're going to assume you don't know the formula, and we're going to actually derive the formula real quick here. So normally you got P coming down, and then you got the area, uh, the original area, we'll call it A naught or A original. So that's simple. We got the stress P over A naught. That's what we've already done. And then the shear stress is zero, because obviously you got no shearing on that surface. But what if you have another, uh, you draw it a different way, and you actually have a small angle of inclination on the plane that you're looking at, okay? In that case, you can divide, or you can, you can uh, take P, and you can put it into two parts, a V going parallel to the surface, and an F going perpendicular to the surface. So the shearing and then the normal force. So we'll label that angle here as theta, and then we, we can uh, label this area of the plane as A theta, because actually it's not going to be the same as our original area. Next, we can solve for V and F using simple trigonometry. So V is going to be P sine theta. We know that if theta was 0, V should be 0, so that checks out. F will be P cos theta. And our area, A theta, will be equal to uh, our original area, a naught divided by cos theta. So now let's rewrite our equations for the normal stress and the shear stress on this plane. So the normal stress, sigma theta, will be f over a theta, and then the shear stress will be uh, v over a theta. Okay, and uh, the shear stress in particular, we can use two of these things that we found, V and A theta. We can substitute them in to get our new equation. So it would be P sine theta divided by A naught. And in this case, we got to put the, the cos theta. We can flip it and put it on the top there, okay, cos theta. The key in this question here is to know that the shear, or the tau, is maximized when theta equals 45 degrees, okay? So when theta equals 45 degrees, you have um, sine theta and cos theta both being equal to 1 over root 2. And uh, it's kind of the middle between the two. If you go up to 90, one of them will be equal to 0. You go down to 0, one of them will be equal to 0. But right in the middle at 45 degrees, they both equal 1 over root 2. So when you multiply them together, you actually just have 1 over 2. So let's go back down here. When theta is 45 degrees, we can rewrite this. Tau 45 degrees equals, and in this case we'll just have P over 2 times uh, A naught it should be. So I guess here that I made a little mistake here, so let's go fix that up. A it should have been a naught in the equation above, or just a. So p over 2a. Okay, so that's the formula. If you knew that formula, then this question would be pretty easy. Um, but instead, we derived it. We know that um, this p over 2 area is simply the normal stress divided by 2 because we had p over a. So we can just divide our answer from part a divided by 2. We get 27 MPA and we're at 45 degrees, okay? So that's really it. Uh, so we can draw our angle of inclination right here on the granite block here for part B, because it's also asking for the orientation. And then we just highlight it, underline it in purple, done. So there actually would have been a way to solve this problem using Moore's circle, but it's a, it's a little more complicated, but 
those of you who want some extra credit, go ahead and try and draw the, the Morse circle for this guy and uh, see what you come up with. All right, peace.